Hello, YouTube family. Patrick with another Dollar Tree haul. Patrick's playbook. I just want to say before I begin, of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I just want to say I've been getting such nice comments from so many people. You know, this channel is relatively new. Thank you all so much. Anyone who's viewed and subscribed and, and liked and left any comments, I just, it's very humbling. And I, I just, with everything going on in the world, just people being kind is just so inspiring. So, you know, but anyone who doesn't like it or has um, constructive criticism, let me know too. You know, I'm pretty thick skinned, but thank you so much for the kindness. And like I said, it's a channel from a dad's perspective and, you know, I just, I really love the Dollar Tree, you know, maybe people are like, oh, here's a guy and what does he know about the Dollar Tree? I just, I really love it. I really honestly, genuinely love it. So having said all that, let's begin. Okay. This was so exciting. I, I couldn't believe it. These two, this makes me feel like spring is coming, like Easter is coming. Look at these. Look at these guys. So our Dollar Trees had had nothing but Easter candy so far. They didn't have any Easter toys or even the, even like the baskets they didn't have a lot of. They just had mostly had Easter candy. So I was there yesterday and all of a sudden I came across these. They also have kind of tannish, kind of light brown ones, but... Or I've seen them in the past, but they did not. In our store, they only had these. So I picked up these. Super pumped. Cannot wait for Easter. I believe this year, Easter falls on April 17th, I saw. So kind of late. So it'll be nice here in Minnesota. I cannot wait. Come on, spring. So found those. So just a couple of, um, of Valentine's things. But look at this. Look at this. I mean, the dollar twenty-five. this is... I couldn't believe how heavy it was. Um, it's a pound. It's like a pound and four ounces. I actually weighed it. I mean, it's so substantial. I mean, look at this. A buck 25 for this. You could use it. You could put coins in here. Um, you know, you could put jewelry in here, candy. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to get some, some of the taller candles from... DT and kind of melt down the wax and put and put the wax in here and put some wicks in and make this just a big old heart candle. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. So I found that. Really pleased to have found that. And then Dollar Tree is the best scarves. So the ladies in my house, they love these scarves. We got two of them. We got this pink... Um, you know, kind of pink print here. And then, and then this one, this was a nice surprise. This one with the hearts and, you know, different sayings on it, love. But get this, this is the same pattern as this eye pouch, this eyeglass pouch that I had hauled the other day. So I remember I remember getting this and hauling this. So all of a all of a sudden I come across this same pattern, same pattern as the eyeglass pouch. So so I pick up that and then I'm walking through the store and incredibly I find this. Again, the same pattern with these plates. So these party plates 18 count 18 count, if you can see there, past the glare. Um, you know, and these, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up on Monday, but these you can use, you know, all year round for, it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. Just use them if you're having a birthday party or you're just having cake, you're having a little dessert, you're watching the big game for, you know, any sport. Um, so I came across those and then came across these as well. These guys. Another 18 count. So those two guys. 
So I, did, I just couldn't believe that the, all those patterns with the scarf and the eyeglass pouch and the plates all matched. I thought that was amazing. And then these guys, these napkins. So super excited to have found those. And again, you don't, you know, you don't have to use these for Valentine's Day. You can use these all year round. You know, love is universal. Love is in the air. As you see right back here, love is in the air. So there you have it. So that's it for Valentine's stuff. What about St. Patrick's Day? Well, look at these. These foam scatter. 20 of them. I think we should open these up and scatter them right back here. So let's do it. I think that I think they uh, look pretty nice back there, don't you? Sitting back there with uh, SpongeBob and his pals, and this guy, and the and the luck of the Irish, the coins. So I just thought that was pretty neat for St. Patty's Day. So then, so that's kind of all the, you know, you got to, you had your Easter with the bunnies and you had your Valentines and your St. Patty's. So let's move on to some other fun things. Now, I love flashlights. I have said in my other videos, I love flashlights. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. Um, three LED, batteries included. So that's nice. Not replaceable. So you just kind of, you get him and... You use them up until until the batteries are gone, but the, they last a long time. But that, I just thought that was a neat little fellow there. I mean, we are we are well prepared in this house. We have so many flashlights. The Dollar Tree, we don't get our flashlights from anywhere else. Love the DT flashlights. Super pumped to have found that. And then this, this is going to go in my son's room. He loves dinosaurs. This LED projector light and you know lighting effects across your ceiling so this little guy here this uh, t-rex is going to be projected upon his ceiling super excited to have found that so you know some kind of some household stuff here you know just we can always use more of these just vinyl gloves name brand scrub buddies eight pairs love that you know, you're cleaning the sink, you're cleaning your bathroom, cleaning the kitchen floor, and you're wearing these. So we don't get our gloves like this from anywhere except for DT. And then this, you know, name brand, Brillo Basics, reusable wipes, nine of these bad boys. So found that. Now these, we have used these for a while. So they're diaper disposable bags, but we don't use them for that. We, but these work really, really well for cat litter. Now they're super, they're paper thin. So if you get these, just know these are thin. They're 75, 75 piece. Um, Angel of Mine is the brand. So they're super, super thin, but they work super, super well for cat litter. So if you have kitties, we have two kitties, two kitties and one puppy dog. So, so try these out if you guys see them. Let me know if you like them or not. When you, if you try them, if you find these in your DTs. And then this, the other day I had gotten in a previous video, I think my last video, or was it two videos ago? I can't remember, but I've been filming a lot this week. Um, we had, we had gotten some take, some cake decorating set, like the tools and, you know, the icing. So, these are the disposable icing bags, 12 of them, from Voila, brand name Voila. So, you know, those are the instructions on the back. So there you go when you're decorating a cake. Can you believe that? Dollar twenty-five. So, not the most exciting item in the world, but this laundry basket. Kind of cool. You can always use more laundry baskets. Um, they had this. They had kind of a peachy color. And of course they had white, you know, we have a couple of white, but we thought this was kind of neat, kind of a neat color. So we got that.
we found these. So neon multi-purpose lighters. These are great for lighting candles in your home. You know, you don't have to deal with matches. So we picked up these. Really, really nice. They work really well. Let me know if you guys have seen these. So a couple of items here. First of all, you have, you know, for your dental floss, your gentle, gentle slide placards. Oh, so a lot of times we have seen these and they're kind of on an end cap. They're kind of like towards the check lanes. And last couple of times I'm like, we haven't seen these. Where are the placards? We went to um, our local store here. I rotate between about five of them here in the Twin Cities. And all of a sudden, boom, there they were. And I was like, wow, have to pick up one of those. Love those. Those work amazing for flossing. And then for the ladies of the home, I picked up these for them. These mini razors, the kids' moms. The kids' mom loves this. Um, silky skin, gentle smoothness from the brand Assure. Now, how about these? These are awesome. These spray bottles. You know, you can... You can put whatever in these and you can label it, make your own, just kind of label. Got three of these, got these two colors here and this clear guy. So clear, kind of a, a green, not kind of, a green. And then this guy, you know, kind of a brownish, bronzish. So these three spray bottles. So that was a fun find. A couple of kind of craft items. Love Crafter Square. My daughter loves DIY, she loves art. So I found three metallic markers. You have your blue, kind of your, I don't know, kind of your mauve metallic. And you have your bronze, your bronze metallic. So these are really nice. Like she loves drawing stuff and, and doing DIY. So picked up three of these for my daughter. She'll be so excited. She doesn't know yet. She's still, she's in school right now, but she will be so pumped. And then a couple of times ago, my daughter picked out this guy. Just kind of this um, this snake, as you can see with the see his little see his little eyes here, and she's gonna paint this. And this is from Crafters from Crafters Square. It just says wood animal, but obviously he is a he is a snake. Wood animal, Crafters Square. So she's gonna paint that, and that will be a fun Saturday project for her. She loves that kind of stuff. So she found that. We found these guys. Um, my son will love this. My first book of color. Similarly, my first book of color with the dinosaur. And then same here with kind of the, the bird. And I won't go too fast here, but you just got your different, um, you know, different pictures in there for coloring. Um, so my son will enjoy those. So I thought those were kind of neat. My first book of color. Now, let's move on to some food items. I love anything hot. I love, you know, those, I love the brims, kind of the brims, those like the hot Cheetos, cheesy type snacks. So one thing I had not tried from DT are these. Andy Caps Hot Fries. So I thought for fun, I would try them right now. I've got, I've got a Coke in waiting in case they're too hot, but I love anything hot. I don't think there's a food on the planet that's too hot for me. Maybe somebody could challenge me and find something that, that I couldn't handle, but let's give, these a, let's give these a try live right here on the air. Yummy, I'm hungry. Those were really good. So, it's 
three ounces. Those are hot. They had a little kick. At first, I'm like, that's not hot. They are. <laughs> they are hot. Let's try one more. Very good. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give these a 9.1. These are very yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Take a quick, quick drink. Okay, well that was a that was a uh, that was a thumbs up, Andy Caps hot fries. So, so we found this um, scrumptious. We had found some wafers previously. Now these are puff pastries, and as you can see, with apple cinnamon filling. So I've not tried these before, so I'm very excited. I really enjoyed this brand's um, wafers, the scrumptious. I had hauled that in a previous video. So these look really yummy. Have you guys tried these? Comment below. Let me know. So um, I shouldn't I shouldn't show all this stuff when I'm hungry because I could just like tear these open and eat this right now. But I cannot wait to dive into that. Maybe I'll eat some of it during the big game on Sunday. Who do you guys think will win? Bingles or Rams? I say Bingles. We will see. So, a couple of candies, the SpongeBob Krabby Patties. You know, these are gummies, and my daughter loves these. She loves everything SpongeBob, and she loves everything gummies. The perfect combo. So, yum, yum, yum. So, we found those. And these guys in the Easter section, Peeps Jelly Beans. Awesome brand name. You get uh, four flavors, lemon, strawberry, marshmallow, and blueberry. Peeps Jelly Beans. Excited to try those. Now, Haribo makes such good products, and the kid's mom, she loves the pineapple of this. But here you go, the 100th anniversary blue raspberry. I haven't tried these. I have not tried Haribo blue raspberry. Have you guys seen this in your store? Let me know. Excited to try that. On a similar vein, we have these guys, just your basic Sour Patch grape. And Sour Patch Kids peach. My daughter and I will be kind of uh, good-naturedly competing for these. Although she'll, I'm sure she'll, she'll get most of them, but dad likes these grape ones. I like everything, everything purple, everything grape. You know, I'm a Vikings fan. I'm a Prince fan. Purple rain, as you can see. Love purple. Love grape. Yum. These Junior Mints eggs was in the, well, I found these in the Easter section, of course. So... Actually, I've never tried these. I've seen these before, but I've never tried it. And that can go in someone's Easter basket, or you can gobble them up now and buy some more. Easter is not for another two months, obviously, so pick up as many of these as you want. And I found these. These trolley Sour Bites Gummy Bunnies. It says to and from... You know, for kind of your Easter basket. Um, so found those. What about these guys? This was a fun Easter find. Double bubble eggs, egg-shaped bubble gum. And we have these. Little four-pack of candy bars. Milk chocolate for Easter. So I thought those were pretty fun. And then lastly for the candy, so my daughter came across this. This is really fun. Hershey's Cookies and Cream Flavored Lip Gloss. So we found that, and then we're going to the check lanes, and we see this. So they kind of match each other. So how fun is that? So, I don't know. We thought those were, that was kind of a neat little, uh, a neat little um, thing to come across there. Now, before I show this last food item, I would like to shout out the channel and underscore I 
underscore believe. She commented to one of my channels and I watched a couple of her videos. Guys, you should check it out. And underscore I underscore believe. She's a great, she has a great, um, I think she's from Philly and fantastic cook and just throws down a couple of Dollar Tree hauls and some wonderful recipes. Definitely check out her channel. It's just fantastic. So from her channel, I came across the idea for this. Saison Goya, and she recommended this in one of her recipes. So delicious. Um, you get eight packets, you know, a great seasoning, and um, we're gonna use that in one of the recipes she recommended. So found that. So that's it for the food. So to close this video, I found some stuff from the gardening section. And let's start with these S-hooks. So these two S-hooks, these are great. You know, you can use these inside your house, outside your house, you know, for, you know, it's just a small potted plant or, you know, almost anything really. So it's in the gardening section, but you don't even necessarily have to use this for anything gardening. But, I, you know, we love these. We've had them in the past, so found these, um, you know, metal garden hook, these S-hooks. So I thought that was great. And then these little guys, clay pots, just two traditional clay pots for planting. Um, you know, it's still cold here in Minnesota, of course. Still snow-covered ground, but... Spring is coming and I just, it makes a person think about planting and, you know, these can be used indoor, you know, or outdoor. So these are great. So found those. Um, and then these, these Job's fertilizer sprays for houseplants. So you guys all know how these work. Made right here in the USA, which is wonderful. You know, and um, for best results, insert new spikes every 60 days. Just push each spike into the soil around the plant, halfway between, halfway between the plant stem and the edge of the pot until the spike is just below the surface. So found those. And then we found these two herb rockets. So you got your herb rockets, you have your sweet basil and dill. And speaking of basil, in my last haul, we got this basil grow kit. So we thought it'd be super fun to see which one of these works better. This herb rocket and trying that out or this basil grow kit. So that'll be a fun competition. What do you guys think? Which one do you think will win? So that's going to be really fun. So we found those. And then we found these flower rockets and Zinnia Mix and Painted Daisy. So that makes a person think about spring, doesn't it? So we found those guys. So super excited. And so yeah, thoughts of spring abound. So guys, that's going to do it for today's haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have a really fun video planned for you next time. It's going to be a vinyl record target haul slash showing you the record inside and out and kind of just commenting on the songs. And, you know, that's going to be super fun. We're going to drop that on Sunday for the big game. And then next week, we'll be back with more Dollar Tree hauls. We love it. We just love doing this. I love doing this. I love the Dollar Tree. And thank you guys so much. All Everyone that's commented on this channel, you've made me so happy. It just, it's so fun to be part of the YouTube family. Having said that, like, subscribe, comment below, hit the bell for notification. Having said that, keep shopping. I would just like to do a special shout out to Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. So she, her channel, she actually commented to me and gave me the most amazing 
kind and just inspiring comment. She mentioned my channel name on her social media post. And it just, it, it just, I can't even believe somebody would do something so kind. You know, I'm new to this and it just, thank you so much for doing that. And go to her channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. This has been a really, a, just a fun experience doing this. I love it. I'm going to keep doing it. It's, it's, it's so much fun. And I just, it's fun to watch people responding the way they have. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Thank you so, so much.